Get ready for the next battle. battle. What's good, everybody? It's your boy D here coming back with another video. Man, you know, this video is just about, you know, me talking about Tekken 7 Season 2, the DLC. As y'all know, it's been about a month and some change now, I think. Tekken 7 Season 2's been out. You know, I've been playing it an awful lot. Been having a good deal of fun with it, you know. I've been uploading some videos. I hope everybody feeling the videos. Hope everybody's enjoying that. There's more videos to come. And, uh, you know... Tekken 7 Season 2, I have to say, it's pretty damn good. It's pretty damn good. Now, of course, the character DLC was the, you know, the main attraction of the whole Season 2. Um, me, this was the, this was the actual real first DLC. That's, that's just how I feel, personal opinion. But, you know, the character DLC, you've got uh, Anna Williams and you've got Lei Long. To be completely honest with y'all, I really don't care too much for neither one of them. But if you ask me, I feel like Anna Williams is kind of the better character of the two. Label Long is just really fucking corny. He's just really bullshit. He's so damn corny, man. He's not even fun to watch, man. I mean, it's good that he's back on the game, but the dude is fucking corny. I don't know what he's got going on there. Corny shit to me. But um, Anna Williams, you know, she's a big gimmick herself. But you know, Anna Williams is pretty exciting. She looks like a person I would kind of you know, play around with to use in a casual match every once in a while. She's got some pretty interesting stuff going on. So the character DLC was pretty cool, uh, depending on who you are. If you a Lay player, hey, I'm glad Lay is in the game for y'all, but still, Lay's corny as fuck. Dude is corny as fuck, and Anna Williams is alright. You know, she cool. She's got some nice stuff going on. Uh, but, and then, of course, you know, you, you got Negan. I can't really speak on him because it's Negan. Now, one thing that I was looking for, I was hoping that uh, Lei and Anna would have some storylines in the story mode. It doesn't look like that they're going to have that, but, you know, that kind of sucks. But, you know, it is what it is. Even though, like I said, I think Lei is just corny. But he be having some good storylines, and I was really hoping that he had a little storyline in there. And I would have checked that out, but don't look like they're going to be getting no uh, storylines this time around. So, that's probably the only really disappointing thing about the, the DLCs is just like they just don't have no storylines you know we would at least want to just kind of see what's going on with the characters you feel what I'm saying but that shit we just got to keep on trucking with it I guess even though the game is still pretty much unbalanced for the most part they was able to tweak some stuff up you know a lot of characters got a uh, got some extra things going on some some good things were added into it like you know like more wall bounces and stuff like that so you know, it's, it's about time. Bandai Namco, you know, they, you know, they trying. They trying. They getting the game together. And, uh, you know, they fixing some stuff. A lot of stuff has been tweaked up. Like I said, the game can still be unfair at times because of the, you know, net code issues. But, you know, they did uh, fix the ranking system a little bit, too. Hopefully, they're still working on that. Hopefully, they'll give us the damn gamer tag of our opponents so we can stay away from the damn lag switchers. You feel what I'm saying? But it does look like this Season 2 DLC does got people re-sparked about Tekken 7 again. You know, especially me because, you know, <clears throat> during like a good uh, like a good two months there, I kind of, you know, kind of backed off from Tekken 7 a little bit. And it just kind of seemed like they just wasn't going to do anything major with it. But now, you know, they coming out with this DLC and then we still got some more characters coming. You know, we don't even know who those characters are going to be. So, you know, that really got me back into it. Now that I'm back into it, along with a lot of others, it's fun as hell to play. It really is, man. I really can't complain about the gameplay other than, you know, some some net connections are unfair. It's, you know, some characters just be doing some unfair, stupid bullshit. But other than that, you know, I get over it. Still have fun with the game regardless. Now, as for the characters, you know, I'm trying my hardest to come across as many of the Tekken 7 roster characters as possible, you know, because of, you know, from a video standpoint and all that, because at the same time, while I upload the videos, I also want to show how I, um, how I'm able to play against a certain character and, you know, the comfort level and all of that. That's, so that's another thing I'll be wanting to show y'all in the videos. It's like how I play against a certain character as well. But you still got your you still got your good characters. There's still some good characters in the game. You know, of course, you got my main Eddie Gordo. 
I consider Katarina a good character. A lot of people think she's super easy to use, but just because she's easy to use, that doesn't transfer to no wins. It's like super hard to win with her because of her her weak tier move list. But yeah, you know, Katarina's a pretty uh, good character. And one thing about her is, is that there's a nice, good satisfaction when you can pull off some wins with her because it's really difficult to win with her. I mean, look, try choosing Katarina Go up against Brian Fury. Go up against a high-quality Brian Fury player with Katarina. I swear, man, that'll make you fucking angry. So, uh, Katarina's definitely a good good character. And then on top of that, you know, you still got your little cheap, stupid, you know, balled-up paper characters like Lucky Chloe and Alyssa and Gigas still doing their cheap shit. So, you know, like I said before, it's unbalanced, but, hey, I guess that's what makes Tekken fun, so... Yeah, so the characters, everything is pretty much still, you know, still the same. Other than, you know, a lot of characters got a little tweaked up as far as, like, wall bounces, you know, and some stuff like that. And then a lot of characters, um, I noticed there's a lot of recovery, some fixing a lot of the characters' recovery, too. So some characters actually recover faster than they used to in the first season. But, you know, really don't make too much of a difference. But, uh, yeah that's what I gotta say about the characters you still got your the roster you know still unbalanced but hey I, that's what makes it fun now as y'all know by uh, watching my videos that I main Eddie Gordo proud of it and despite the uh, community hatred yes Eddie Gordo has been my main character pretty much since Tekken 3 since he debuted it um, of course I'm gonna be uh, continuing to upload you know Eddie videos but in the future uh, I'm gonna also be uploading videos on my secondary character Katarina um, you know I'm gonna be getting back to her I'm gonna go do some training with her kind of get retooled with her and you know just go out there and uh, see what I can do with her see if I can get my mojo back with her so be staying tuned for uh, more Eddie videos and also more Katarina videos as well and also you know let me know if you guys want to see any specific type of video you know uh, let me know in the comment section if you're looking for some specific or something kind of you know out of the norm just let me know you know I'll try to get on that try to unleash it you know what I'm saying you know as I said before you know Tekken 7 season 2 is pretty damn good you know and it's uh it's about time that uh old bonehead Harada finally is getting the fortitude and listening to the Tekken community by, you know, making these fixes and making these changes. So, uh, I guess hats off to you, Harada. You did good this time. You did good. You're still not better than you, Suzuki, but you did good. And, uh, that's pretty much what I had to really say about, uh, the Tekken 7 Season 2 DLC. Uh, you know, I'm having helly fun with it, and, uh, as you see, I've been uploading videos. There's still more videos to come because I plan on playing um, a lot more Tekken 7 Season 2. So uh, stay tuned for some more videos. And, uh, you know, let's just wait for the next battle. So, uh, you know, like this video if you're feeling it. Comment below. Subscribe. I'll holler back at y'all. Peace.